Well, hello, everybody. I wanted to do a quick update before the weekend started here because I just finished some coding in here that I thought you'd be very fascinated to see. And it may actually even make you decide to back the game. We're at $7,200 as of this morning, unbelievably. We're going, we're going, we're going. We have seven billboards that are sponsored. We have five left. And part of this quick update is to show you something concerning those billboards. So let's just go on in here and I'm going to show you. I'm going to go in to play the game. I got Invincible turned off because I need to die to show you this. So we're going to climb up the thing. And I'm going to intentionally die on purpose. Oh, and that noise in the background, that's a heartbeat. It gets faster and faster the farther the game goes along. And that's the noise that things fall on you. I'm still tinkering with actual sounds. But let's die. And look, I died. You notice anything different? I have down below all the billboards show up in the newspaper. So at the end of the game, whether you die or you beat the game, you get to see all the sponsors showing up there. So that's a nice little feature, especially for those people that have paid the extra for the sponsorship. And we still have five billboards left. Get your name, slash logo, slash whatever you want down there. All right, so this is the next thing I want to show you. And I just turned Invincible back on so that it doesn't get in my way. First off, let me show you your help screen. Oh, let me get to the right window here. The help screen. And you remember it says editor there. It still says editor. And please excuse the noise outside. For some reason, other dump trucks have decided that today my road is a shortcut. So if you go into editor now, it tells you what the editor is. To customize your adventure, just press the fire button before you start a level. You will be able to enter in codes that will change how the game plays. Each code is five characters long. You can experiment with codes or get a list of codes from the website 8bitmilli.com. Sounds fascinating, doesn't it? So let's go into the game. I'm going to start on level 1.1. Just remember that, level 1.1. And while I'm at the screen, instead of starting, I'm going to click the fire button. And notice what popped up over on the left-hand side. Enter a code, fire to apply, arm if done. And if you don't know the difference between the two, fire is your left button, arm is your right button on the controller. So I'm going to use the stick to cycle through codes and cycle through positions. I'm going to put in a code right now. And let me just show you this one right here. It's A, I, N, A, and then the last one was, what was the last one? I wrote it down over here. Where's my piece of paper I wrote it down on? Bear with me. I move my papers around. Here it is. T. So my, my code here is A-I-N-A-T or I-N-A-T. I'm going to press fire button to apply. And if you've entered it incorrectly, you'll get a green cursor. If you entered it incorrectly, you'll get a red cursor. So apply. I got a green cursor and it clears it. Let's me do another one. That's the only one I want to do right now. Again, look at this screen. My level is level 1.1. Now let's arm. I'm going to press the arm button because I'm all done. What? I jumped to level 4.3 with no score. See? Game Genie built in. I'm at this one now. I'm going to put another code in. I'm going to do A. L O E N and I'm gonna apply that one and that one's done now watch my score my score is now nine million <laughs> oh but I can do something else now let's do something else instead I'm gonna do another game genie code I keep saying Game Genie, that's because that's what Game Genie was. This isn't Game Genie, this is actually letting you edit the RAM that's inside the ColecoVision for the game. So you get to play with it and do whatever you want. Here, I'm going to put in, uh, let's just do A now. 
So that was A-I-N-A-A. -A -A. And apply it, and I'm on level 1.1 again, but my score is 9 million. There's a lot of different codes in here. <laughs> um, I want to try one I haven't tried yet. Let's go in here. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to set the le do the set level code. A, I, and I have no idea what's going to happen now because this is something that I've been wanting to do, and I realize, you know what? Now's the time. A. Now my letter I'm going to put here. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, you know that I'm not going to do an A here. I'm going to do a C, and I'm going to do a T here. So I'm going to do A I N C T. AIN addresses the stage number in RAM. And the stage numbers you're allowed in the game is 0 through 15. Stage 16 means you're done. But you can override that. And that's what I'm doing now. And I'm going to put another code in there and see. I don't know where this will send me off in the memory, but what's going to happen? It's going to start interpreting shift. And we're going to see what we get. So here we go. I'm going to apply and see if the game dies. Whoa, look at this go. <laughs> Where am I at? Where am I at? Oh, that that killed me. <laughs> Just like with the game genie, how you can put in codes that break things, you could do the same with this now. So there's your quick little update for the weekend. I'm gonna wrap it up for the day here and head on home and spend the weekend with my wife and my daughter. Again, we can use some more backers. I'm hoping everybody out there will back this game. There's another game coming after this, and believe me, it's gonna, you're going to like it. Have a great day, everybody.